Welcome everybody to Matt Bayerski YouTube channel. Uh, pull my socks up because that's what we do when we're uh, <coughs> when we're born in 1967. And uh, pull your pants up as high as you can, like up here. Keep pulling them up so they're basically uh, where your chest is. That's what we used to do. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Tuck your shirt under your underpants. That's what we used to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, I've actually uh, deprogrammed myself to one of them, and that's tucking my shirt in. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> yeah, no ex-wife wanted to ever go out with me. <laughs> Just pull your shirt out. Why? This is what we do. <laughs> Fool. Fool of a toque. Oh, come up a bit. What's wrong with you? Oh, is that better? That's better. <laughs> okay, got my ladies in, got my elephants in, got my trio on, all good. So today we'll uh, do some uh, housekeeping, uh, if that's okay with you. A little bit of housekeeping, in and amongst a little bit of a chat about different things. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say, it's not very often um, that a great idea comes about from some of my clients that I've uh, known over the years um, and when I say clients these are like they, they become friends you know uh, from all over the world and some are just like you and me and some are uh, of, of uh, great service to the world and um, I, I've, I've never been one to I don't know I think privacy is a, a, a thing that's really really become part of my life when it it, it's like if I ever talk about a situation, you know, I might mention a first name, but I, I'll, you've never, you've never really put the pieces together of who I'm talking about. And some of these people can be in the limelight. I, I'll say, oh, they might be famous or that something like that. But that's just to, you know, give you an idea, not to brag or boast. But I've never gone to any of my clients and said, oh, you know, I, you know, I'm doing podcasts now. I do videos and coffee chats. Never, never. But every now and again, when, we're, when I'm chatting to some of my past clients that I used to, you know, uh, give sessions or readings and stuff, some, you know, some might, you know, every now and again, once in a blue moon, somebody will, will say something and um, I say, oh, great idea. So tonight at um, UK time which is 6.30 and if I'm late if we're late it's only because we're, um, um, my guest has uh, some shows on so doing some TV shows or whatever shows they are and then after that um, he's going to jump on so if we're a bit late please bear with us okay hopefully we'll be on time but if we're late don't worry just keep coming back and, uh, to that video and hopefully it'll come live at some point um so who have I got on? Um, well, when I was a kid, we used to watch um, um, TV as we all did, because it was all new. And um, one of the shows that I loved was uh, Blue Peter. Get down, Shep! Uh, uh, so that was like, in England, that was our kind of one of our shows. Anyway, our guest is, um, is uh, a presenter or one of the presenters of that show over the years, and it's Mark Curry. And Mark Curry is not only a, a TV presenter, but he also is an actor. So he's done, you know, it was a, I think he was a child actor, and now he's currently in um, uh, London in a show, uh, theater called Wicked. So when we both came up with this idea, um, you know, he mentioned it. I thought, wow, yeah, yeah, brilliant. You know, I would never ask, but it was so nice of him to uh, suggest it. So I, I'm really looking forward to talking to him tonight. And I've got to say, as an energizing bunny, I think he beats me by a thousand uh, 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 percent. He, every time I, I meet him, every time we see each other, is full of life full of joy, full of positivity. If there's one person <laughs> that we can extract some information from of how to get that energy up, especially in the work that is in, that kind of entertaining, acting, it's so 
like I know so many actors and, and they're so down and because there's no jobs or they, they you know, and so, so let's try and get some information of joy, happiness. Let's talk to him about the past. Any questions you think I should put to him, please um, let me know. But it's going to be a joy. I'm going to love this coffee chat tonight. So please join us tonight. So that's the first thing. Uh, secondly, you know, um, where do I go with this? I went through a bit of a, a, a lull, a bit of a lull. Um, and that was because I kind of started seeing things a little bit different. Um, and I was pulled into the uh, ever cesspit energy of the world is ending. You know, nuclear war is just with, within gr grasp of, of our life now. The wars and the deaths and, and the lies, the hypocrisy and the manipulations that are happening. I got pulled into that and you've, you've, you quite rightly sent me tons of messages saying you're going down a dark hole and it, it's hard to get back. And you, you're right, but I, 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 everybody should be allowed to fall and everybody should be allowed to express themselves and to go wherever they feel they need to go. And the reason why is because when you come out of the other side, you have a, a different perspective than just being love and light. And sometimes it's good to have gone down there. It's sometimes it's good to have fallen because if somebody else falls, you can say, oh yeah, I've been there and this is how I navigated through it and out of it. Um, being a healer over these years, it's been something that has helped me along my journey. And what I've noticed over these past three years is something that really was there in my gut. It was something that was like, it's almost like you know what's gonna happen. And the fact that, you know, so many bad things happened over these past three years, no point me talking about them because I don't wanna lose this channel. But the one thing I've noticed is that the demise of joy, the, 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 the infrequent moments where we see happiness these days, and I'm not talking about these ridiculous um, five second uh, pretense acting of I'm wonderful and feeling joyful or the photographs of the absolute ridiculous false smiles where they're trying to um, falsify um, their, their joy. They're not joyful. I would say right now, it's about 99% of false idols on all the platforms. All the smiley faces are filled with pain and suffering. And this is just a pretense, which to me, I'm not wanting everybody to post photographs of being miserable. I can see they're trying to be happy, but a lot of people, it's not even, we've gone past that trying to be happy, trying to put up a, like we've gone past it. Now it's, I'm gonna lie. I'm actually gonna lie to you because of, I want people to love me. I want people to think I'm in a good place. And that is a, a, a betrayal to your consciousness. Uh, and that's just a slippery slope. And, and it's, it's sad. And I'm seeing it every day. So many children, teenagers messed up in their head, what they've been through, what they're going through, and, and what they believe their God, their idol, their, their, their goals are is so far from reality, so far from why we came into this world that we can clearly see now that the world totally has been hijacked to the dark energy, the dark force, the dark Veda, the dark Lord, the Sith. It, it, it literally has been. So what do we do with that? That's the point of where I am now. And I, I've, I've sat back and said, you know what? I said to somebody this morning, beautiful soul, I, I'm sick of doing videos. I'm sick of doing videos because it, it's like, what's the point? What's the point anymore? 
but there is a point and I know there's a point and I know uh, I've fallen and I fall all the time and I've said that to you loads of, I fall all the time I'm up and then something tries to pull me back down and I'm fighting to get back up again and I think we're all the same I think we're all going through that um, and we get pulled into that dark force you know um, through one reason or another it might not even be our fault it might be something that we try to create as something beautiful and then at the end of the day we're actually we're a prisoner to what we created so it's it's finding the balance and I think really you know one of the things that I spoke to a dear friend of mine uh, just 10 minutes ago doing a sound check was that I think we we have to allow ourselves the the time to feel joy we have to allow our consciousness our soul our minds that moment of of just doing something for ourselves on a positive level on a on a creative level we 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 have to allow ourselves to feel joy and i don't think we 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 allow ourselves that anymore it's kind of gone now and you know people look at, at my life now and think oh but you're so lucky and i'm like it's got nothing to do with um uh, value it's nothing to do with money monetary value nothing to do with that at all i've said to you before i've been in bali and been depressed really down because of what i saw happening um and we tend to blame exterior all the time. I don't care what you say. You might you might say, no, it's not me, it's the world outside. But to be fair, it's it's our doing. Just like relationships, it's him. Okay, you're always blaming somebody else. Why don't we look at ourselves and say, why? You know, we don't do that because we're hard, stubborn, um, we're donkey minds sometimes. We refuse to you know, look at ourselves and judge ourselves and ask ourselves why I feel this way. It's easier to point the finger at somebody else and blame somebody else because it, it's hard work trying to figure out who you are. It's bloody hard work looking at yourself and admitting to yourself that maybe I do react. Um, and, and it's so easy to say, yeah, I react because of you, because if you want in my life, it's your fault. And then you go to somebody else and meet somebody else and you do the same thing to them and you do the same thing to them and them. Like, hang on a minute, is it is it everybody that I meet? Or could it be, ooh, <laughs> yeah, could it be? <laughs> but you know what? You know, I, I'm not asking it, you know, there's a difference between saying I'm a victim you know, and oh, it's me, it's terrible, I'm awful, I'm terrible, no, 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 and I shouldn't, that's, that's another escape go out of reality, facing up to, you know, uh, finding the balance within us and trying to correct certain aspects of our life because of our, <laughs> you could call it DNA, our genes, whatever you want to call it, it could be our circumstance, our abuse as children, our, our mums and dads, but look, we're all going through this crap. We're all going through this, you know, path. We're all going through this experience. We're all experiencing things in in similar similar ways. But the great the great ways, uh, the great people who have have, have really truly overcome um, certain obstacles and not like a hundred percent overcome that, but manage them. Because I haven't overcome my obstacles. I manage them. And being aware of them, and being aware of my um, my quirkiness, being aware of my um, uh, knee jerk reactions, and working towards filling myself with more joy, filling my eyes with more love, and and beauty, and gorgeous scenery, and and beautiful and kind people, and beautiful energy. Working on the energy in this place, and so on. All of these things and everything that I put in my mouth, no poisons now, trying to eat as healthy as possible. All of these things are, are called balance. And of course, the spiritual aspect of everything, of understanding that there's more to life than eating, drinking, sleeping and working. And we get so caught up in that because it's the nature of the beast. The beast has a whip. The beast is telling you, you have to work nine to five or nine till, uh, like I work nine till, well, I don't work nine, I work normally about 10 till 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, but it's not really like work. So I think the nature of that beast will be doing something you hate doing. If you wake up in the morning and enjoy your job, you never work another day in your life. So I think it's, you know, standing up and trying to figure out ways of changing your life so you find happiness in your life. And it might not be easy to begin with because you're frightened of, of saying, well, I don't want to get rid of this job because it's the only job I've got. I'm not telling you to get rid of your job. But what I am saying is, do you think you're worth more than feeling bad every morning and making yourself ill and poorly and sad? Of course you are. That's a stupid question. No, there's no such thing as stupid questions, only stupid answers. Um, so, of course you are. Of course we are. So what are we going to do? We're going to look for something else that we want to do. Or we're going to implement something into our life and start to work on that and build on that. And eventually we say, no, I don't need my crack crappy job anymore but thanks very much for the crappy job because it's helped me create this or it's helped me find another job that I really want see what I mean so you change your life by getting up off your ass most people don't so, you know, there's a lot of people who actually truly believe in this idea of spiritual um, help from from your guides and and from your angels and from uh, from like all I just need to do is sit here and it'll all come to me it doesn't work like that Life doesn't work like that. You want a healthy body, you have to get up and do something about it. You have to exercise, you have to go and find the correct food and then your body will help you. So if you want a beautiful way of life and you want to change your world and you want happiness and joy, you're going to have to get up and start to do something and then the joint venture of your guides, your spirit, spirit world, whatever you want, join forces together and you work together on that path. But, you know, the spirit world can't, like, push you and shove you up and say, go in that direction. But what they can do is when you get up and start to go in that direction, they can gently nudge you and you can start listening, thinking, no, that doesn't feel right. Good, that's the spirit world. That's your, that's your consciousness guiding you. But you can't be guided if you're sat down doing that, miserable, blaming people, wanting to be a millionaire, wanting to be famous, all of that, that nonsense. Clear that away and find out who you truly are by the way of doing certain aspects that you know people talk about health well-being you know all the good things and we start little steps little steps really do help you know figuring out your health figuring out what to eat figuring out you know exercise figuring out you know going to the sea going to rivers going to mountains going to you know the grass figuring out where where you feel happy going for a walk jesus christ what's that no oh, i don't want to go for a walk yeah go for a walk go for a walk in the mountains see how different you feel incredible go for a long walk go for go for uh you know a, a trip to i don't know get a backpack and like i did um, the Comedia de Santiago de Compostela, go, go on, go for a few days, you know, it doesn't matter what happens because something will happen, you will be guided to, to do something and, and sometimes when you just do things, it's like I, I left England because I just, it didn't feel right anymore, so I gave up everything and, and just got in a van and drove to Spain, how many people would do that? Well just do it Ah, but if it all goes wrong well, and so what if it all goes wrong? What? Well, I wish I'd have stayed where I were. Well, then stay where you are then. And then be miserable. But at least you tried. I have more respect for people who get up and try than those that don't do anything. I love people who do things that goes, goes against this enslavement, this sinister world that we live in. Push, push the boundaries. Go against this programming that's been told you. Yeah. <laughs> Grow up, get a job, get a wife, have children. No, all of them things are lovely. All of them things are lovely. But they are part of a sinister plot. Get the job that they want you to get. Get a wife, get a house, stay where you are. I don't want to stay where I am. I don't want to, I want to push the boundaries. I want to go somewhere with my children and do something else. You know, do something that goes against everybody else's program. Sometimes... Those moments are incredible. And if you look back on history, all of the, you know, Paramananda Yogananda, you look, you read his book, you read, you know, uh, uh, all these famous, famous people, they all get these 
moments where they they what is this world about? What what what? Why am I here? What is this really about? Is it about the Gucci Armani and the the, the Lamborghini and and being like all those 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 influencers who are multimillionaires who talk about making a uh, hundred million in a year and when you really find out that most of them are uh, either liars or absolute fraudsters and crooks. Uh, not so not so wonderful when you um, realize that it's all, it's all fake, nearly all of it. So yeah, and like I said, those who become really famous, I've talked to you about this before, try to, you know, hey, just hang on a minute, it's not what you think. Those who are A-listers, are, 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 most of them are miserable and messed up. Messed up, <laughs> messed up, so messed up, you have no idea. <laughs> So be, be happy. Oh, I want to be famous. Oh yeah. See what happens when you become famous. See where you can go, what you can do. Nobody, you can't even walk out of the door without somebody chasing you, about crazies following you. Yeah, yeah, of course you want to be famous. No, you don't. Trust me. No, you don't. You want to be you. You want to be happy. You want to be free. You want to be able to do what you want without people watching over the shoulders or cameras or, or sneaky, horrible, uh, I call them pigs, which they actually were um, pigs if you look at um, some of the old uh, footage of uh, spitting images when we talk about paparazzi. So you, you don't want all of that. You want a happy life. You want to be joyful. You want somebody to love or to be loved and to have excitement and joy in your life and to do things that make you happy. When was the last time you were happy? I just don't see happiness anymore because of the suffering out there. So let's stop blaming everybody else, including you, Mr. Bayerske, and start to work on my joy. And hey, I've come full circle again, and and and, and I'll probably come for full circle again, you know, in a month or two months. Who knows what's going to go on in this mad world? But at least we have one thing that nobody can take away from us: our gift our ability to choose what we want to see to choose what we want to feel nobody nobody's taken that away from us just yet so let's still work on that even though there's so much out there that's causing disruption causing issue let's be stronger than so that's it i'm gonna switch off now this was my little chat I hope it hasn't upset you. And if it has, maybe we can look at ourselves and ask ourselves, why was I upset and triggered by what you just said? I'm gonna do a video on all my oils now because I wanna share that because there's a great offer on all my oils at the moment, which I'm proud of. And uh, I think we've got about 30, 27, 28 uh, sets left of the all the oils, which is a fantastic price. I'm gonna do a video on all the oils in a minute. I'm going to do a video, I think, like somebody asked me again yesterday, uh, which which do you think is the most powerful crystal at the moment? I still say Tektite, and I'm wearing it now. I mean, the trios are, are, are incredible, but the Tektite is really what we need, and that is to absorb negative energy that we create, and that is created around us. Um, I don't create negative energy. Yes, you do. You have a choice between creating positive and negative energy. So it's up to you. Yeah, but I'm working in a bad environment. You still have a choice. You don't have to work in that environment. Yeah, but I've got family. Yeah, but it's still your choice. Still your family. You know, you might, you, hey, it's all your choice. No, it isn't. Okay, well, it isn't then. It isn't then. Things, things are difficult for a lot of people, and I get it, especially teenagers right now. So Tech Tight seems to be something that I wear every day and has helped me and it's probably the most powerful crystal in the world, I think, right now. It absorbs negative energy that comes off you, that comes off others. And I think if we can clear negative energy, I think we become more balanced. So I'm going to make a video on that because I'm going to do a special offer right now on um, Tech Tight, so I'll make a video. I'm gonna make two videos now. Uh, anything else? No, I'm just looking forward to tonight, actually. Um, gonna upload some uh, cavern sites today, uh, some uh, tiger, tiger agate. Um, I don't know what else. I think that's it. 
All right, guys, love you all. Have a great day. Thank you for going to markbayeski.com. Maybe I should just finish off on one thing. So I got, um, I get a lot of crystals that I kind of, you know, the kind of prototype crystals that I, I want to see if I like. So I got prototypes in here, especially the rings. I got loads of kind of rings sent to me. Some, some are real, some are not real, um, but they're all solid silver. Um, most, most of everything on here is, is real crystal, but some are not. So this, this isn't, but it's still beautiful. Um, and s let me have a look, because I thought I'd better put added these in too. I thought I'd throw them all in. Uh, that looks like Moldavite, it's not, just so you know. But everything else, like, is, these are, all the rest, 99% are all real. Um, all real and genuine. So I've worn a lot of these. Uh, not the rings, of course. <laughs> yeah, maybe I could have worn that one, but I didn't. That's actually quite beautiful. But yeah, we've got the tectites, beautiful tectites. Um, so many lovely crystals. Look at that beautiful flint, gorgeous. Um, and then we've got genuine um, Moldavite, genuine Moldavites. We've got genuine Moldavite. Uh, uh, one of those that I was showing you, which is a high quality gem, watermelon, tourmaline. Um, there's so many. There's so many crystals here, so many, so, so many. I mean, it's it's absolutely full, absolutely full. So I worked out there's well over 4,000 euros of crystals here. Um, this is gorgeous, look at that. That's from India, isn't that beautiful? Look at that, that's such a quality piece. Um, but yeah, all beautiful, all unusual. This is from Naibia, look at that. The black tourmaline in there with the quartz, beautiful. Look at that for a chunk. Now that is beautiful. That's gorgeous. So there's so much in here, so much. So yeah, um, I did this because all of this is gonna to go to one person. I know people got upset uh, that I haven't split it up, but anyway, it's done now and I'll try to remember next time. So I'm also going to have, I don't know, five or six runners up. So I'm gonna get some nice single crystals for that, some pendants. So there's gonna be one big prize and maybe five or six other prizes. Um, so this is a raffle and all the proceeds go to the Richie Allen radio show uh, on the 30th of November. So I'll do the raffle on December, the 1st of December. Uh, all proceeds go to the Richie Allen radio show and the way to get a ticket, and each ticket is five pounds, okay? So you can buy as many tickets as you want. And the way to do that is buy any of my eBooks or any of my um, audio books, okay? So there is some music as well on there that you can um, buy any of those. Every time you buy one, it, uh, five. Uh, so if you buy um, an audio book at 15, that's three tickets and you can buy as many as you want. I'm doing it because I love the Richie Allen radio show. I mean, I listen to it nearly every night. Um, I, I listen to the great guests who are phenomenal guests. And I think to myself, yeah, I could support many other people individually all the time, but supporting that show is basically supporting everybody who goes on as a guest. So I think we all, I think we all appreciate that, and I hope you do. And uh, I just love doing this as often as I can, within reason, of course. Um, but yeah, so I hope you can um, also join in and help by going to markbyersky.com and. You know, just buying a book or an e uh, not not a, a stationary book, not a, a physical book. Okay, just buying an e-book or e-music or audio music. Okay, or audio audio book. Um, and by that way, we can 
keep the, the radio station going because we all need a wage, we all need to eat, we all need to, you know, uh, be able to go on holiday and have a rest and, you know, so I, I do that and we all need to, also if we've got a business, we need to keep up with the equipment and, and everything else that comes with it. So yeah, I do it out of love. So I hope you appreciate that. Um, uh, so yeah, take care guys, love you all, have a great day. i link below to all the audio things that you can buy and then we will automatically take each five pound and put it into a draw over there and I'll do the draw on the 1st of December. So you've still got a few days left. So for all, all of that, oh, imagine all that coming to you. What are you gonna do with it all? <laughs> all right, take care, bye for now.